Hello everybody, how are you? We're the Midnight Riders driving through the dark of night down the 77 freeway and uh, for example we're going to come up on Ingleside in a quarter mile I know I'm excited about that Guys, uh, so many people are reacting to these videos I produced about West Virginia, and everybody loves West Virginia. Natural beauty, friendly people. If you're a kayaker or outdoorsman, a fisherman, a fisherwoman, it's just, uh, it's heaven. A camper, family outings, whatever. Anything outside is better in West Virginia. But if you're in West Virginia, sometimes it's a little bit uh, harder to meet single people than you might think. So this video is five ideas on how to meet sexy available singles in West Virginia. And we are not going to talk about bars or that kind of scene. I think that's self-explanatory. We're going to focus on clubs, organizations, associations, uh, alternative ways than the bar scene to give you some ideas on, on how to meet perhaps the romance of your life. It could be the romance of your life uh, or just a fun date. So West Virginia, let's start with what I just mentioned, and that's it's natural beauty and great outdoors. So if you're in West Virginia, no matter your age, and you want to meet an available sexy single, think about things that you're attracted to in the great outdoors and then how you can meet up with other people with that same uh, interest. So let's go with the kayaking I mentioned earlier. You want to join a kayaking group that has somebody in the age, that has people in the age range that, that you're that you're uh, interested in meeting. Now here's the thing: they don't have to be in the group. They you want to get to know people that know people. So a lot of times you're going to meet a sexy available single through somebody else that you've met in these groups. See what I mean? It's a, it's networking. And you want to make yourself unique. So uh, method number one or tactic number one, however you want to think about it, start wearing the same item of clothing every day. So if you have a, uh, let's say the kayak group, start wearing a hat that says hot and sexy every day. Now, you might switch up the hat a little bit, change the colors, change the fabric, but it says in big bold letters in some sort of fashion, hot and sexy. Now, what's that going to do for you? It's going to make you stand out in the kayak group. Okay? And for that reason, anybody else that is vying for the attentions of friends and family of people that you, you're in the group with, you're gonna be ahead of them because of your hat. And that leads to tactic or method number two, try to become a leader of the group. So wear your unique clothing item and then run for office. And, and that, therefore, you're raising your profile in the group. And one way you may want to do that is to come up with a unique platform. So let's take the kayak group as an example. You run on the platform that you will provide bologna sandwiches for every outing. And those bologna sandwiches will come on a variety of breads chosen by the members of the organization along with 
the mayo, the mustard, or the vinaigrette, or light mayo that they desire, and you'll offer it in both 6-inch subs and 12-inch subs uh, sizes. Okay, it doesn't have to be this platform, but sub subs are always, or pizza, are always a good platform. But I'm trying to get you to think creatively on what your platform will be when you run for the head of the organization. So now you can tie in your hat to your platform. So your hat says hot and sexy, and you can make a creative connection and say, the sandwiches will be hot and they'll be so light and tasty that the members of the organization will be tasty. See what I mean? Now, I'm not saying this is brilliance. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. And the third way that you can meet people in organizations or tactic, however you want to look at it, is once that you're the head of the organization or in a position of power, perhaps you're the sergeant at arms, perhaps you're the secretary, the vice president, it doesn't matter. Now you want to propose that you come out with an annual report and therefore you're going to need the pictures of officers to put in the annual report. Now you have a professionally produced photo of yourself which you'll want to go down to CVS Pharmacy and duplicate 500 times in a nice 8x10 glossy. Now you distribute the 8x10 glossy to the members of the organization and ask them to pass them out to their family and friends. This is a direct attack on your target market. Now you're raising your profile among those family and friends of the people in your organization with a direct attack of an 8x10 glossy photo. Now, with doing a little research, you should be able to figure out who are the family and friends of, of the members of your organization that are especially attracted to you and vice versa. And then what you do on those 8x10 glossies is you write a note on the back. And you write a note on the back and say, I, you, here's what you say. You say, I've been watching you. I hope you've been doing the same. And then you sign it. Now they have a personal note from you that indicates your interest and you hope that their interest is, is returned. Now you're operating at a higher level. Any competition in the organization is going to be blown out of the water because you have taken a leadership tactics, you've taken aggressive, assertive, but, but uh, proactive and creative and adorable tactics. Okay, Lo lovable, adorable tactics that no one else is doing. These are premier ideas that I'm offering at no charge, guys and girls. And for the return, all I ask is that you subscribe to this channel and get more brilliant ideas uh, as I come up with them off the top of my head as I'm doing here. Because guys, I've been there. I have dated so many girls that wouldn't give me the time of day until I put the full uh, romance press on. And that leads to tactic number four and that is, once you've written the note on the back of the 8x10 Glossy, you're going to want to take out a radio ad that is on the radio station that they listen to. Now, keep in mind, this is really only going only to work for older demos, people that still listen to the radio. And by that, I mean people over 40. Now, if you're under 40, you're going to have to do a contract with Spotify because people under 40 don't listen to the ra uh, old school radio, they listen to Spotify. Now you will have a few people that listen to Pandora, and that's because they're too cheap to pay for Spotify. If that's the case, you may want to cons reconsider them as a target market because they're too cheap and they'll be cheap in the relationship. Okay? But that's something that you can determine. And now in these radio spots, you talk about how uh, 
what you want to make sure is you don't talk about yourself without attaching a benefit to each of the features that you mentioned about yourself. So, for example, you say, hey, I'm glad you're loving the radio station today. I just wanted to mention a few of the things about myself that will interest you and enhance your life. For example, I love animals and, and I noticed that you had two dogs. Well, I love dogs and the benefit to you is that I will have no problem taking them for a walk every day. So now you've offered a benefit to the people in your target market, your romantic interest targets. And now they know beyond romance and love, which let's be honest, love only lasts probably 18 months and then it falls into a routine. And if you're not offering something beyond that, in this case, walking the dogs, then you're gonna be at a disadvantage. But by, by providing services uh, above and beyond love, it's going to make the relationship last longer. And then run those radio spots on that radio station or Spotify, and that will again enhance your uh, possibilities and potentialities with your target market. And finally, number five on our list of ways to meet people in West Virginia, hot, sexy singles, you're going to want to find out what community they live in and take out a cable TV ad in that community. And the reason I say cable TV is that especially if you're a woman targeting men, you know they watch cable TV sports. And ladies, you can get good deals on regional sports channels that you wouldn't believe. Now, if you're a man targeting a woman, <clears throat> same vice versa, you're going to get very good deals on Lifetime or whatever they're calling that channel now. And no matter what a woman says, uh, the 75 study shows 75 to 95 percent of them, uh, 75 to 95 percent of them watch Lifetime movies of the week uh, once a week. So target those areas and run a cable. So this is going to be a video and audio version of your radio commercial. And you're going to run it on that cable channel. Okay, and then you're going to have them call you at their earliest convenience for, for a date. And now if you don't have four to 700 dates uh, over the next six months, then I've just wasted your time. Because guys, I have been able to get four to 700 dates with available women uh, within 24 hours of running these cable TV commercials. I've done all of these tactics. I've had big success with them. Now, it is true that with casting that wide a net, I did find a, a few loose screws. People, uh, a couple ladies that uh, I had to call for uh, medical assistance from the dinner table at the restaurant because they were having some sort of seizure. Uh, and I, what I mean is uh, they lost... They're not physical seizures, just they're, they were, they, they, they wanted, they wanted fresh rolls and when they came out, they weren't hot enough, which led to some sort of um, snapping in the brain and they lost their minds. And then I had to call for medical assistance. But, you know, that is bound to happen and you want to be ready for that. That's why you want to be sure you have your medical training up to par, up to snuff. But also that your phone is charged and you have emergency numbers on speed dial. But guys, these are the ways, these are the modern ways to meet hot, sexy singles in West Virginia. And I, I think if you give it a try, you're going to meet with great success beyond your wildest dreams. And uh, will live a life of never-ending happiness and love. Or at least you'll be able to um, enjoy sitcoms by yourself in the dark, uh, sipping on iced tea and with your dog by your side and the cat uh, sleeping comfortably by the door because he likes the draft that comes underneath the uh, door. So I hope that helps you out, guys. And... 
Any questions, just leave them on YouTube. Shoot us a tweet on the Twitter machine or uh, email, whatever you got, and uh, we'll then talk about it in uh, future videos. Good luck out there.